Sometimes we have to add or subtract expressions containing both numbers and radicals. A series of steps can be followed for these. If there are any brackets, start by clearing them. Next, check radicals, and if they can be factored, factor them to their simplest form. Then simplify the resulting expression. Next, arrange the expression so like terms are next to each other. Lastly, write the final expression in its simplest form. We can illustrate these steps using an example. We're asked to simplify this expression, which involves adding and subtracting square root radicals and numbers. The first step is to clear the brackets by using the distributive property. Notice there's a 3 on the outside of the brackets. So we remove the brackets and multiply each term by 3. Our next step is to factor the radicals 245 and 45. 245 is 49 times 5, and 45 is 9 times 5. The square root of 49 times 5 is broken up to the square root of 49 times the square root of 5. And the square root of 9 times 5 is broken up to the square root of 9 times the square root of 5. The square root of 49 is 7, and the square root of 9 is 3. So now we're left with this expression. And the next step is to simplify it. 3 times 7 is 21, 3 times 13 is 39, and 3 times 3 is 9. After simplifying, we're left with this expression. 21 root 5 and negative 9 root 5 are like terms. So the next step is to arrange the expressions of these like terms are next to each other. Now the like terms are next to each other, so they can be easily added or subtracted. In the last step, we write the final expression in its simplest form. 21 root 5 minus 9 root 5 is equal to 12 root 5, and we bring down the plus 39 beside it. So the original expression has now been simplified to 12 root 5 plus 39. We'll show you the whole solution so you can pause the video and review it if you like. Take note of the steps that were used. The same steps can be used for addition and subtraction involving numbers and cube root radicals. We're asked to simplify this expression. Notice there are brackets with a negative 3 outside the brackets. So our first step is to clear the brackets by multiplying each term by negative 3. The bracket is removed and each term is multiplied by negative 3. Note that negative 3 times negative 55 is equal to positive 3 times 55. So we put a plus sign in front of the 3 times 55. The next step is to factor each radical if we can. 375 can be factored to 125 times 3, and 192 can be factored to 64 times 3. Notice that 125 and 64 are both perfect cubes. The cube root of 125 times 3 is split to the cube root of 125 times the cube root of 3. And the cube root of 64 times 3 is split to the cube root of 64 times the cube root of 3. The cube root of 125 is 5, and the cube root of 64 is 4. So now we have this expression. At this point, we can simplify this resulting expression. Negative 3 times 5 is negative 15. 3 times 55 is 165. And negative 3 times 4 is equal to negative 12. So we're left with this simplified expression. Negative 15 times the cube root of 3 and negative 12 times the cube root of 3 are like terms. So now we rearrange the expression so that like terms are next to each other. Now the like terms are written next to each other. Negative 15 times the cube root of 3 and negative 12 times the cube root of 3 add up to negative 27 times the cube root of 3. So we're left with this expression. It would be simpler if we exchanged the positions of the two terms to give us 165 minus 27 times the cube root of 3. To summarize, the given expression can be simplified to 165 minus 27 times the cube root of 3. We'll show you the whole solution to this problem. Notice the main steps we used here. We're clearing the brackets, factoring the radicals, simplifying the expression, arranging it so that like terms are next to each other, and finally writing the expression in its simplest form. It's good to remember these steps when solving this type of problem.